Carla Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another spend the day with me vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so we are here, we are in Miami um, and I'm gonna take you on a realistic day with me. I woke up this morning, made myself a coffee. Y'all know I love an espresso. This is a new mug. Now y'all know how I feel about mugs, I collect them. This is from the brand Drippy Pots and I was introduced to this brand by my neighbor who had one of these cups. Um, they're so cool. They come in a ton of different colors and I just think they're so aesthetically pleasing, just beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'll link this down below. I have a ton of new home decor stuff in and my office is almost done. So that video is coming soon if you love home decor. You're gonna love that video. Today, I'm doing a lot of maintenance things. I'm going to go get my nails done today. You guys know I wear my nails natural. Um, I do get gel manicures. Um, so I'll take you along for that. And then I'm gonna go and try and find a birthday dress. I'm gonna head to Curio at Faena Bazaar. Um, it's a really cool, very kind of exclusive, small, uh, shopping destination here in Miami Beach is one of my favorite places to shop the buyers are incredible they always have the hottest newest brands um, and so I want to try and find some birthday pieces since my birthday is next month tourist season soon come Taurus is stand up um, and I want to be prepared because I will be on a yacht y'all know how I do um, so we're gonna do that and then I need to get a wax I need to get a YouTube video up today because today is Wednesday I mean, I need to, to do the description box for that. And what else? I think that's about it. So we're just gonna hop right in. My nail appointment is in about half an hour. I'm gonna get myself together. I did a regular everyday face. The lip is the Fenty Beauty um, Riri Gloss Balm that's been sold out for quite some time now. The house dress is Skims, always. Uh, let's figure out what I'm going to wear for today and let's get out of here. Oh, I also have a ton of new things in that I'm going to show you, including a brand new camera. Ah, let's go. All right, guys, I got myself together and put on this old two-piece set from Zara. It's just a little crop top and a matching midi skirt with pockets and a slit up the back. This is from last year. They no longer have it. Sorry. But I'll be sure to link something similar. I just want it to be super easy going and chill today uh let's pick a fragrance i think we're gonna go with byredo ball da freak i love how this smells um since we're getting my nails done we're gonna get my toes done too i'm just gonna go with a flat something comfortable let's see all right guys hopefully you can see me here is the look I am wearing this two-piece set from Zara. Super old, comfortable. I went with my denim Orion sandals from Hermes, my denim Chanel bag, my Bottega large uh, drop earrings in silver. I've been loving these. Um, and then my Bottega uh, silver hardware sunglasses. Online, they only have these in like gold and like a gray. I have yet to see these exact ones online, so I would suggest going in store and seeing if you can find them if you're interested. I need to throw on some lotion. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite lotion combination to have your skin glistening because every time I post a video, like a short on YouTube or and there's new people, they're like, oh, what your legs, they're shining. Like, what are you using? What What's the tea? What's, what's, what's the formula? So I'm gonna give you guys the formula. Uh, and then we'll head out. I'm gonna grab something because I didn't really get a chance to eat breakfast and I'm really trying to do better with that. <laughs> All right guys, so let's go. All right guys, so we're in my room now and I'm gonna give you the lotion combo. It is Kiehl's. Kiehl's Cream Decor. I have several sizes that they sell at uh, Sephora. Right now I need a bigger one because this one's gone, but I advertise this all the time because I use this every day. <laughs> this is the best lotion in the entire world. It gives you such shine. Um, it makes your skin literally glow. 
and it takes away all ash and it moisturizes into the sun. It's not tacky, it's not sticky, it doesn't get on your clothes and ruin them. It's the best lotion in the world. The only thing about it is it does not have a fragrance, which is good for me because I have super sensitive skin already anyway. And uh, most of the time I have to test out anything that has a fragrance on it that I apply directly uh, to my skin like a lotion. But yeah, this is incredible. And I then I go in and I mix it with either my J'adore Dior body cream because it smells so good to give it a beautiful fragrance. Or I go in with the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cream. Now these by themselves, they are great. This one is more like moisturizing and gives you more shine. This one just gives you more fragrance. Um, so yeah, I can sometimes use this one by itself. But I love to mix them so that I have a nice fragrance. Uh, the fragrance is so good. It's perfect for spring. By the way, your girl is still a Dior ambassador <laughs> for quarter two. Um, so I'll link a few of my favorites from Dior down below. My code you can use to get a free gift with purchase. All right. We are all lotioned up and we are ready to go. They didn't get to eat breakfast, so we're just gonna grab a banana. Also gonna grab one of these oat and honey kind bars. And that will be today's breakfast. Gonna pop this in my bag.
I am back home. Watch my hair. All right, I'm back home from Curio um, and from getting my nails done. A lot of people ask about my nails. So I always get the OPI Passion. The color is called Passion. It's the brand is OPI um, and it's gel. So it looks super natural, which is what I really like because when my nails start to chip, you can barely tell. It has like a slight pink tint and it just looks very, very glossy and natural and beautiful. Um, so yeah, after I got my nails done, I went to Curio, kind of showed you what they have. As you can see, the selection is always incredible. They have amazing shoes, amazing bag, um, bags, jewelry, um, lots of resort wear. I tried on a few things. I tried on a, a Andrea Iyama like mini dress with that was blue, red, and brown. Um, it just didn't speak to me, so I didn't get that. I did try on some black linen pants, which were really, really nice. Um, and I'll have to think about those. And then I tried on this brown dress, but it was too small. Um, I tried on another like black and white dress. I felt like that was too short. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the vibe is going to be for my birthday, but none of those were giving me what needed to be given for my birthday. I do love shopping there. It's always a really nice shopping experience, less hectic, right across the street from Faena Hotel. You can pop in there, have a drink. Um, not a lot of people kind of know about it, even though it's really, really good. So if you're ever in Miami Beach, definitely check out Curio. Um, I did buy one thing. I ended up buying some jewelry. I have been a fan of this jewelry brand for quite some time. Um, I've seen their pieces online. In fact, I learned about this jewelry brand from Rat and Boa. All of their models on the website were wearing these earrings and on their Instagram too. And so I went and found out the brand. It's Paula Mendoza. Um, and I love Paula Mendoza pieces. Like they were on my wish list of luxury items maybe like two years ago when I did a updated luxury, um, like what I want. And so I finally got some earrings from them. I'm gonna show you all. Now these earrings are light, they are hollow. They come in like gold and also silver let me come a little bit closer so you can see they have these little holes in them which is really cool and you can see the earring back is like a ball can you see so they're really fun earrings and i got them in silver because i've been wearing these bottega silver earrings so much and everybody loves these i swear anytime i wear these people are like oh where are those earrings from? They're so cool. They're so stylish. Um, they've never seen anything like these. Uh, so I did get my money's worth for, for my Bottega earrings. And I'll link a few dupes. I know Anthropology has a really good one. But let's see how these look. I already feel like I might need a new earring back. So yeah, these are just like simple hoops. Very fun. Um, and you can kind of build on them, which is what I like. Really what I went in for the ear was for the ear cuff. And then I just ended up getting these as well. So super kind of chill, kind of plain, but then I got this little ear cuff and they come in different sizes. You could just kind of hook them on like that. I think it's so cute. The sales associate was like, you sure you don't want two? I was like, no, just one ear cuff will do. And I also like that the ear cuff I can wear with my Bottega earrings as well. That's how I tried them on. And they just look really cool. So the ear cuff uh, also comes in gold. But like the thing about a uh, Paula Mendoza jewelry is that you can build on them. And so I'll link a few down below if you're like interested but I love this little ear cuff because it's I don't know my ears are super duper sensitive I would like to get more holes in my ears but I just know it's not gonna work out <laughs> for me it's gonna be too painful I'm not gonna be able to sleep um it takes my ears a long time to heal and I just I can't do it but this is 
this is giving and i'm kind of here for it let me show you guys my new camera this is my first like major camera in years uh when i very first started vlogging in 2010 i had a canon t2i and if you remember the the t series you are a real one um i used to take all of my my blog photos with that camera um a little bit of videos from like fashion shows and things but i thought i was it walking around with that huge camera um, and so I'm very glad that big bags are back because this is a big one. So this is the Canon R6. It is mirrorless, which I really, really like. And in fact, if you go to my Instagram and look at most of my like professional photos, um, all of those are taken with this camera, which is mirrorless. And I love it. Um, my photographer, Maria, um, also known as Bella Rosa blog here on YouTube and Instagram. She's suggested this camera for me for my sit down videos. Of course, I can take amazing quality photos with it as well, but I'm trying to level it up. Usually I use my Canon G7X Mark II for all of my like sit down videos as well as my vlogs. But for my sit down videos, I want it better quality so that I can really show you guys the clothes. And so this is the body that I went with. Um, it's just the body that I bought from Best Buy. I'll make sure to link it down below. But super excited to try this out for sit down videos. I also am getting my office space together. I have a new place to sit in here, a whole new setup. I'm looking at it now, but you're not gonna see it yet. I'm gonna do a whole video. Um, and so for my sit down videos, it's gonna be such a cute little backdrop. I cannot wait to show y'all but yeah this is new in from best buy um it is quite heavy now the lens that i got for this is a 35 um 35 millimeter lens um it's a stationary lens it's good for sit down videos i could also take photos with it it kind of blows it doesn't really like blow anything out let me take a look no this is just really good for like stationary not moving sit down videos with this lens so my next sit down video i'm gonna film on this um and we'll see how it goes the sound on it is also really good i won't necessarily need a mic uh, but i've kind of trained myself not to need a mic i'm really good at projecting my voice um and for my vlog cameras, I never use a mic. Like I have the Canon Mark II G7X, which is the best vlogging camera to me. Um, I did a whole comparison in one of my uh, previous videos. I think it was a New York Fashion Week vlog video where I compared the Canon and the Sony cameras. Um, in fact, <laughs> y'all, here's the box. Canon Mark II G7X you are a brand new camera because uh after using the other one for every day for like months and months and months i've dropped it i've done all kinds of things to it the focus starts to wear on it for the focus goes first but that's because i use my vlog camera every day and i have to buy a new one maybe every year every eight months so yeah you're new <laughs> same camera um this is my old one here which I always keep my old ones because I never know when something's gonna happen to the new one and then I just need a backup. So this is the one I've been using for about, I wanna say like eight months and you're new. So hopefully the quality on this one is a little bit better, but for vlogs, such a wonderful camera. If any of you are interested in this one that I just got, um, I'll link it down below. Again, all of my professional photos are taken with this camera. I also got a drone, um, but we're going we gonna to test that out before I give you all a review on that because I haven't yet used it. So those are just a few things in. I do have some beauty products. Maybe I should show you guys. I'm going to eat first because this is the reason I came home. <laughs> I came home because I cooked last night. I have been craving mushroom chicken ever since I went to the St. Kitts tourism event at um, Swan Restaurant in Miami Design District. 
I want that chicken so bad. The next time I go over there, I have to get it. Like, it's so delicious. So I ended up going to Trader Joe's yesterday and just buying some um, chicken wings and some cream of mushroom. And I ended up making my own. I make this meal quite a bit. Uh, so I made some chicken, mushroom chicken wings. Uh, and I made some broccolini and some rice. And I'm starving. I wanted to eat out so bad, but I'm doing better. I'm going to stop eating out as much and start back cooking more. Uh, so I'm going to eat lunch. And then I'll show you guys some new and beauty things I got from MAC. And from Laura Mercier. And then we're going to go to the grocery store again. Because I have to pick up some items for a campaign that I'm shooting tomorrow for Belvedere. And I need some olives. So I'm going to make a little martini. All right. So let's go downstairs to the kitchen. Let's eat. I might actually sit outside on my patio and eat because it's such a beautiful day today in Miami. I also just recently post, posted this photo on Instagram. It's doing very well. Let me show you guys the photo. You guys remember this look in my one of my most recent fashion videos if you're not watching my fashion videos you're missing out and if you're only watching my fashion videos you're missing out because i show all of the items in previous vlogs before i do like a roundup but yeah everyone's loving the cargos and my entire studio's top i love it it's so good all right let's go eat oh you guys i almost forgot <laughs> i need to upload my video for YouTube, because today is Wednesday, and it's already, let's see, two o'clock. My videos on Wednesdays usually go up later, like after five, like between five and seven, um, because when I look at my analytics, that's usually when my audience is on during the week. Um, so what I need to do, I have my little adapter here for my MacBook Pro. And then I have to get my uploader, where is it, or my external hard drive because y'all these videos are so huge. If I stored all of my videos on my actual laptop, it would be finished after like a month. So if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, you need an external hard drive to save these videos on and to even edit your videos on because sometimes editing them inside your computer can also just take up an incredible amount of space. So the best thing I've ever done is buy this Easy Store from, uh, what is it? Easy Store, WD Easy Store. I don't know how long I've had this thing. I think it's only two um, terabytes, uh, but like, I've been saving videos on this thing for like two years and it's still not full yet. <laughs> I don't know how it does it. I've literally never deleted anything off of this and this thing is still working. I actually bought a new one just in case this one ever gets too full. So yeah, I'm going to download the video uh, onto this hard drive. And then I'm gonna upload it from this hard drive into YouTube so like it never gets saved on my actual computer. And I do have an editor. I know a lot of you think I edit my own YouTube videos. I am not that talented. I have edited my videos before, like maybe two, three years ago, I was editing all my videos and then I finally got an editor and it saved my life because editing takes too long. If I had to edit my videos, I would not have time to do anything else like and you see you got you guys see my videos are long so like it's just too much to have to also edit them and i'm not the best editor so i know when to let go and to let a professional do things and i needed to let a professional edit my videos because i don't have the time or the patience um to be googling how to do something how to do a transition and also it's really helped my personal life because I have free time to do other things, to work with brands, to shoot other content that I think is really fun versus doing editing, which personally I'm not good at and I hate doing it. So that's another tip for your business. <laughs> know when to delegate and when to hire out because editing is so time consuming. 
and I just I I can't I just cannot it's too much uh, but this is a vlog this is um, a vlog that I'm uploading for the girls uh, it's a three-day vlog I think people are gonna really enjoy it so we're gonna download it my editor me and my editor share a Dropbox and so she just sent me the video. I'm gonna download it onto this external hard drive. Let's see how long it says it's gonna take to download. It's not reading. Are you on? Let's try this one. All right, so it's uploading now. It's saying it's gonna take 19 minutes, 18 minutes. 18 minutes to upload a 57 minute video. Actually, it's already down to 16 minutes, 15 minutes. Literally, this will be done in 10 minutes, uploading to my drive, and then I'll upload it to YouTube. So I have about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs and warm up my food, and I guess I'll bring it back up here and start working on the description box, which takes the longest. That takes the longest because I have to look up every place I went, everything I did, and put it in the description box. I also need to look up everything I wore and find the link. Finding the links takes like an hour. <laughs> and then putting it all nice in the description box. The description box alone takes like an hour. For an hour long video, it'll take me an hour and a half to do the description box. So, yeah. And I'm really very descriptive with my description boxes. Like videos last forever. So, you know, even if someone watches an old video, I want them to be able to find those things. And I think that's another thing that sets me apart from, actually it's, it'll be done in three minutes. That's gonna, that sets me apart from other YouTubers. Like I hate watching a video and someone says something's linked down below or I see something that they're wearing and it's really cute and I go to the description box and it's nothing there but like their Instagram handle and TikTok and I go to those places and still can't find anything. I think it's such a disservice to the people who are actually watching your videos who want those things. Uh, and also like you're losing money. <laughs> Why wouldn't you link the things uh, so that you can get a commission from those sales? I just, I don't understand. Uh, it's, it's more work, but in the end, it's more, it's beneficial to your audience to have those, those things in your description box. And it's beneficial to you because you're going to make a commission on those sales. Why people don't do it? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea why people don't take the time to do something that's good for their audience and good for them. It's a no brainer. My description boxes are always lit and I also include the places I go. So this will be done in a minute. Let's go warm us up some food because I am starving. I'm gonna have to link it down below for you guys, but it's so, first of all, aesthetic. And I love how easy it is. Um, so in here we have some rice and we have a broccolini that I made last night. And with this, you literally just have these little hooks that you unpop and then the top just comes off like, I cannot get it with one hand, like so. Ugh. Mm. Love this. I'll link this down below if I can find it. And then in here we have our mushroom chicken. Uh, in case you're interested, the way I make this is I bake the chicken wings in the oven at like 400 for about mm, 25 minutes until they're like brown and crispy. Of course, I season them with a little chili powder a little salt, a little pepper, a little lemon pepper, yum. Um, and then once they're pretty much done, I'll take a cream of mushroom. This one I got from Trader Joe's. No, I got this from uh, 
like a specialty market is it gonna focus is it focusing okay here we go it doesn't really matter which kind you use you can use Campbell's as well um, and then I just pour it all over the chicken put some aluminum foil on top and pop it back in the oven for like an additional 15 minutes until like the cream just seeps into the chicken and then I take it out that's pretty much it and it's so good if you don't like mushrooms you're probably gonna hate this recipe but if you do yeah so I'm just gonna warm this up uh by the way these plates H&M home black matte plates super thin kind of a regular very cool H&M home don't sleep on them By the way, so many of you bought this when I first did my home tour um, and I was I did a home update. In fact, it's one of my most watched videos. I think right now it has almost half a million views, which is crazy. I can't believe a video of mine has half a million views, but it's like an Amazon home update. And this is one of the little things I got from Amazon that I love. If you have a big sink. This works out great. You can put this on like one side and you could dry your fruit on it. You could dry your dishes on it. You could sit a hot plate on it or a hot pan if you want to get it off the stove on it. I love this thing. It is so great because my sink is so deep um, that it just comes in handy when I want to dry fruit or have dishes that I don't want to put in the dishwasher and I want them to dry over the sink. And then it rolls up really nicely. You could just store it so if anyone's interested i'll link this down below i really cannot wait to do an updated home video because ah! i have so many good finds from amazon Ooh. okay let's warm this up we're gonna eat i'm very excited about this food i'm starving While that's cooking in the microwave, we are going to go ahead and upload our video to YouTube um, because that's gonna, going to take the most time, especially because it's kind of in the middle of the day when everyone's on. Uh, so let's do it. Awesome. The video has fully downloaded onto my uh, external hard drive. Now we're going to upload it to YouTube. So here we go. We have a few of my favorites. Tamara, love her. Damon Dominique, one of my favorites on YouTube. We have Nuri. Who else? We have a lot of people who have uploaded brand new videos. Akita's uh, documenting Hilo Lux's chat with the DC uh, bloggers. Lots of new content to watch while I eat. Uh, so let's go ahead and upload my video. Awesome. So my video is uploading. It has about 32 minutes, which is pretty quick. <laughs> um, so while this uploads, I'm going to go ahead and eat and watch a little YouTube. I could go ahead and start on the um, description box, but we're going to eat, y'all, because we starving. Uh, and we'll do the description box after. All right, grab my coffee from earlier because I never actually finish my coffee during the day. I just drink one cup throughout the entire day. Um, and my new drippy pot smug that I've linked down below for you guys. Let's eat. Mm, I cannot wait to see the new videos. Like I love Sundays. Well, actually it's Wednesday. I love Sundays too because a lot of YouTubers upload on Sundays and it's just, a great chill day to watch videos uh but yeah some of my favorites have posted today we, uh, normally like sundays and wednesdays seem to be the days to post on youtube so let's eat and we'll we'll start with tomorrow's video like 
the human again. It was delicious. Um, I talked to my neighbor for a bit. And now I'm about to do the description box for this video. This video is 57 minutes, so I have to watch the video and do the description box at the same time. So it's probably gonna take me about an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. We are starting at, let's see, 326. I'm guessing I'm gonna be done by like five and then I'm just gonna make it live. And then I need to go to the grocery store and get some olives for my campaign tomorrow. I did want to get a wax today. I don't know if I'm going to have time. I might have to go tomorrow evening. Oh, I have an event tomorrow evening. Oh, and I have a test for that coming, so it has to be today. Okay, so maybe I'll go get a wax once I'm done with this. And then I'll go to the grocery store. We'll see. So many things to do. So little time to do them. So she's going to be <laughs> in the next vlog, but she's head here. Well, this is so cute. Hey, see, y'all can't see this section yet. <laughs> My office reveal video coming soon. Hey, y'all. So Maria has left. She just came by to pick up a drone. Um, I just finished. <laughs> the description box mainly because she was here for maybe 30 minutes and we were just chatting um so now it's already 5 30. i am so tired <laughs> um i'm now creating a thumbnail which i do all my thumbnails in canva and so i'm just creating my thumbnail right now and we're gonna get this live i'll show you how it looks so i basically create these little collages in my phone by going to InShot. Um, and then I go to Collage and you can like put three pictures, four pictures, five pictures and create that. And then I um, airdrop it to my computer and then I upload it to Canva where I can, you know, add, you know, a header. I can do all kinds of cool things in Canva. So this is gonna be the uh, thumbnail. So I am nearing the end, which is great because I have so much to do tomorrow. I need to prepare because we're doing a shoot day tomorrow. I'm also starting a new vlog tomorrow. So yeah, we are nearing the end. I still need to go to the grocery store. I still need to get a wax. It's 5.30. There are not enough hours in the day. Just think, if I had to edit this video too, girl, I would not have a life. Uh, it's six o'clock my video is finally live and i'm tired like i don't think that there's anything else i can do today <laughs> um i'm just gonna share it now i usually share across all my platforms linkedin facebook instagram uh, so i'm gonna do that now and then i have a ton of beauty stuff that i'm gonna show you guys and then that's probably gonna be it for this vlog because this is just a day with me. This is kind of what I do when like I have no content. <laughs> when, I mean, I do have a lot of things coming up, but yeah, today is just a spend, very realistic spend the day with me uh, because I didn't feel like sitting down and doing a fashion video, which was on the plan. That was the plan, but I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't muster it up with all this other stuff I have to do. Um, so let me go ahead and spread this around, let everyone know that there is a new video, and then I'll show you some new in things I got in from Mac, Caudalie, and Laura Mercier. I'm like looking at the things here because they're over here. 
and then we will end out this vlog and i hope it wasn't too boring because <laughs> well, i didn't do much today but yeah stay on the like mm. i'll be right back all right guys everything is finally posted i posted on my instagram my facebook my linkedin all the places to tell people that my video is live so hopefully they're gonna watch it let me show you some new items then we're gonna end this video because i want nothing more than to take a hot shower take up take off all my makeup and just lay on the couch and watch youtube first up we have a little something from mac hyper real high performance skincare i had no idea that mac oops now this is a brand new camera y'all i'm talking brand new and y'all see how it's doing me that's nuts straight out the box oh so annoying anywho mac hyper real high performance skincare they sent this over really pretty cool the packaging hope you can see it there so we're gonna open it starting with this top drawer let me put this okay that should be better i took it off auto let's open up this top drawer in here Ooh, so pretty we have oh my god it's like this thing is really stuck a little drawer here this is the mac hyper real serumizer a skin balancing hydration serum that I'm never going to be able to get out of here because it's literally hammered in like <gasps> wow I cannot get this out so here it is the hyper real serumizer skin balancing serum from Mac very cool it is not like y'all the way this thing is in here I'm never going to get it out okay finally I dug it out this is some beautiful packaging let's see what it looks like has a little pump all right here it is i'm gonna put some here and see what it does okay so it's kind of milky very lightweight Ooh, it's like a gel Ooh, that's nice that is very nice it has a very slight like almost vanilla-y floral smell. And it just makes my hand feel super moisturized. I could definitely see this as a base for makeup. Wow, this is really nice. Ooh, super supple. So that was in the first drawer. This little thing is great. I could definitely use this for like some of my beauty products for storage. Cause this is like a canvas it's very very nice all right let's get into the bottom drawer which has some more products okay so in the second drawer we have more mac products the hyper real high performance skincare from mac we have skin canvas balm which is a moisturizing cream we have we have the Hyper Real Fresh Canvas Cleansing Oil. I love a good cleansing oil. It's great for getting your makeup off. And then we have some more things from MAC. The, the Studio Fix Matte Fine 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. And also the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Very, yeah, very excited to use all of these things. Um, forgive my tissue when I was un <laughs> folding this this thing gave me a paper cut and it immediately started bleeding so that's how my day is going so these are all of the things we have in here science backed makeup artist approved very interested to use these i'm going to take these out so you can see the packaging for these two new products so here we have the skin canvas balm uh, moisturizing cream looks really thick and moisturizing smells nice very like barely there smell and here we have the cleansing oil the fresh canvas hyper real cleansing oil it does come with a little pump and yeah i love the aesthetics of this the packaging is really beautiful and nice it's almost like golden really beautiful 
All right guys, so that was new in from Mac. And of course we have a few things in from Caudalie, which I love Caudalie. I hope you can read it. It says instant detox mask, your flash facial staple, say bonjour to clear pores. And we love a clear pore. Uh, in fact, I already use this mask. <laughs> I use it maybe like once or twice a month when I feel like my skin is dull and I just need a boost. It's the Venergetic C Plus Instant Detox Mask. And I'm pretty sure I have shown these to you guys before. Um, it's a really great mask for instantly brightening up your skin. I hope I'm not bleeding all over this. Oh no, my little cut already closed. Um, so it tightens pores and removes excess oil, which is wonderful. That It has purifying clay. Um, coffee and grapes so it like wakes up your skin with the coffee very cute mama and baby and then they also sent these little scrunchies which they usually come in handy when I have like my braids and things to pull my hair back so I can do my skincare super fluffy and nice these are by dewy hours and then they also sent some detox shampoo i've heard of this brand but i've never used it before i think it's pronounced way focus for me yeah so this is all about detoxing this package that they sent and last but not least we have the sakara detox water chlorophyll drops this is really cool not all water is created equal you add this to harness the cleansing plant power of chlorophyll to detox the body. Um, you put a few drops of this in, in water and drink it daily. And oh, you're supposed to keep refrigerated once open. Okay. I've heard a lot about Saqqara. I actually had like one of their meal plans previously. So I'll be interested to check this out. Although I really feel like water already has everything your body needs in it. So we'll see. We'll see if I use this. But this is, is supposed to detox. Your body so shout out to Caudalie for my detox gifts can't wait to use these all right guys so that's it for now that's it for today I am exhausted <laughs> I'm ready to chill um, so if you enjoyed today's video please do give me a thumbs up I would love to get at least 4,000 thumbs up on this video if you are new to me subscribe uh, I would love to have you join the fam and make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you get a notification every time I post a new video and so that you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links to everything can be found down below as well as um, details about where I went and what I did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.